electron falling into a hole, a covalent bond is break, broken here. When we, covalent bond is broken, we know very well that one electron hole pair is produced. When a covalent bond is breaking at one position, an, an electron and a hole pair is produced. But this electron will do, this will come out through the conducting wire and enter into the positive terminal of the battery. Therefore, the deficiency of hole here is compensated. At the same time, what happens? One electron will leave this negative terminal and go here and compensate for the deficiency of electron, which is due to the recombination of electron hole combination. So, recombination. So, in this way, the majority charge carriers flow through the PN junction diode and outside the circuit, the electrons will move. So, that is how the PN junction diode is conducting the current. Now, if you connect a battery to this and then we can measure the voltage applied across the PN junction diode using the voltmeter and the current can be measured using the ammeter and if you draw the graph between these voltage values and current values, we can draw the characteristic curve. That is the next topic. So, now we will see how to draw the forward and reverse bias characteristics of PN junction diode. The characteristics are nothing but the graphs drawn between voltage value and current value. So, we know very well about the forward bias connection. Now, this triangle and a line represent the symbol of junction diode. Now, the triangle represents P type and the line represents the vertical line represents the N type. So, this is circuit symbol of P N junction diode. So, now P N junction diode is given forward bias as you see from this diagram. P section is connected to the positive terminal and N section is connected to the negative terminal. So, from this arrangement what we will do uh, after closing the key we will be adjusting the voltage applied across the P N junction diode using this potential divider arrangement and every time milliameter reading will be noted down. The millimeter reading will give you the forward current passing through the P N junction diode. So, using the set of values of voltage and current we can draw a graph. So, this graph between forward voltage and forward current is called forward characteristics. If you see the graph carefully you will understand that for initial some values of voltage applied there is no current the current is almost 0. This is because there is a minimum value of voltage to be applied to overcome the potential barrier then only the conduction will take place. So, this the junction diode will start conducting current only after the overcoming of potential barrier that is why in this graph this portion represents the value of potential barrier after that is overcome then the current starts increasing. So, if you see the uh, diagram after the voltage called knee voltage the current increases almost linearly with voltage. So, this is the linear portion of the graph. So, if you ca calculate the resistance or the slope if you calculate the slope from this that will give you forward resistance. Slope of this graph will give you the that is 1 upon slope. 1 upon slope will give you the uh, resistance value because we know resistance is V equal to I R R equal to V by I. So, resistance to get from here you have to take the 1 upon slope then we will get the resistance of the semiconducting diode that is junction diode in forward bias. In the case of reverse bias if you see the connection is just reversed. You may be wondering why I am connecting more number of cells here compared to this one because in this case as I told you earlier the conduction in reverse bias is due to minority carriers. So, we have to apply more voltage for that conduction. So, here P is connected to the negative terminal N is connected to the positive terminal. So, which is the reverse bias the way I explained you earlier what we have to do is using the potential divided arrangement the voltmeter values are changed in steps and corresponding ammeter reading is noted down. If you see here milliammeter is replaced by the micro ammeter because the current is due to only leakage of minority charge carriers therefore, the micro ampere only uh, uh, micro ammeter only can register such small currents. So, if you plot the graph between the reverse voltage and reverse current you will get a graph like this initially the current will be very small, but after a particular voltage called reverse breakdown voltage the current increases very rapidly. Normally, the normal uh, type of junction diodes are not operated in this region because in this region the breakdown of 
uh, junction diode will take place. That means very large number of charge carriers will be developed so that it will lose all its characteristics. So normally, general the junction diodes are not operated in this region. They will be operated within the safe region of applied voltage. So so far we have seen the function of PN junction diode in case of forward biasing and reverse biasing. In the next class will be studying the use of semi semiconductor conductor junction diode as a rectifier and we will study further about this in the next classes.